And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to talk just a minute about fleshing knives. And when I'm talking about fleshing knives, I'm talking about two-handed knives, okay? We're going to sometimes refer to as a draw knife. Um, we're going to work them like this with two hands. They're going to be on our beam, okay? This is what our long-haired fur, our coyotes, lynx, wolves, fisher, uh, how they all get to, done. Now, you can spend just about any dollar figure you want on, on fleshing knives from the, the very economical to the very expensive. As you go up in quality, things like uh, features and grind and handles and all that will improve. If you take a look here, you, you can see on uh, these edges, if they're ground on just one side, the other side is flat. This particular knife is sharp here and here. And I don't like that. I don't like that. My uh, preferred knives are like this one right here. And the back side, it's dull, but actually what it is, it's very, very square cut across it, just like you'd sharpen a, a hockey skate. So it's actually these two edges that work when we're pushing the fat off in that. The other side is, also, is, uh, is sharp, and you can see that it's only ground on one side. So what that's telling us is that we want that flat side to ride against our fur. If we do it the other way, now we ha don't have near as much control, and it's easy to make a nick or a cut. You're gonna buy the wrong one to, to, to begin with, I can guarantee it. <laughs> so go out and buy one and learn how to use it. Match it up to your beam. That was Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week.